So hi folks, I just want to finish off this last slide here, uh, recruiting a more diverse workforce. I mentioned before that Aboriginal peoples and, and some of the people of the disadvantaged groups, how would you get, get at them? Well, for the Aboriginal peoples particularly, we can go, I'm just going to go to the slide and see if I can pop this up. Okay, they have a Canadian Council for Aboriginal Business. This may be slightly cut off uh, in your view, but it really looks about at, really looks at or talks about mentorship programs. So, for example, sometimes um, uh, Aboriginal um, uh, the Aboriginals will have mentorship programs, and through these mentorship programs, they get people to mentor Aboriginal people so that they are in a better position to get a shot at jobs in other organizations so they understand a little bit about work environments and particular jobs. So this is something that an organization is doing to get its peoples ready for uh, work experiences with other organizations. So I might want to contact the Aboriginal um, uh, Canadian Council for Aboriginal Business and talk to them a little bit about who they may have available or how I can go about recruiting Aboriginals into my organization and I could describe to them a little bit about the job I'm looking to recruit for and they might be able to recommend uh, uh, um, people or where I could look for people. So sometimes these uh, designated groups have their own associations or own groups that can do outreach to help organizations find people appropriate if companies are trying to do some outreach to hire from some of those designated groups. So that's all I really wanted to say on this uh, last slide regarding Aboriginal peoples. So um, that concludes our presentation uh, for the recruitment side. So now we'll move on to the selection videos when we get into that chapter. So hope you enjoyed the presentation and uh, have a great day.